Hello, so we are going to look at question number four from A Level Chemistry Paper 1 with code 9701 slash 12 from May, June, year 2019. Alright, so let's go to page number four. Question six X, Y, and Z are all gases that behave ideally and react according to the equation shown. So one mole of X would react with two moles of Y and produce two moles of Z. When three moles of X and three moles of Y are placed inside a container with a volume of 1.0 decimeter cube, now allow me to label volume as V, they react to form the maximum amount of Z. The final temperature of the reaction, of the reaction vessel is 120 Celsius. Now I'm going to label this as T. All right, what is the final pressure, which is the P value inside the reaction vessel? Now, as given from the question, X, Y, and Z all are gases which behave ideally. So they fulfill the ideal gas law. So we can use this ideal gas equation, which is PV equals to NRT. All right. So uh, P is pressure, V is volume, and its number of molar is the ideal gas constant or molar gas constant as given in your data booklet as 8.31. All right, and T is the temperature. All right, so our aim here is to find the p-value. So we are going to move the V to the other side. So we have uh, P equals to NRT divide, oops, NRT divide by volume. Okay, right. So um, next, we're going to find the number of mole because it's not given as stated in the question, right? So in order to find the number of mole here, we're going to look at the mole ratios for the products and also for this product and also the uh, um, reactants here all right so first of all now from here we look we're able to see that uh, one mole of x would react with two moles of y and thus produce two moles of z right now the question say um it is given three moles of i x would react with three moles of y so from here we are needed to find either X or Y, which one is the limiting reactant, all right? Which one will be used up first, all right? So from here, if let's say um, maximum, we're going to use up a total of three moles, right? Based on this ratio, three moles of Y would only react to half, okay? Which is 1.5 mole of X, okay? Because the ratio is one to two between X and Y, right? And they will produce a maximum of a three moles of Z. All right, so now the total amount of Y has all been used up. So what is balanced, what is left behind is 1.5 mole of X, right? So at the end of the whole process, there is 1.5 mole of X plus three moles of Z. So in total, the number of mole becomes 4.5 mole. That is the end value that we are looking for. Now, in case if you're still asking, now why do we need to add in a 1.5 plus 3 here? Do bear in mind that everything happens inside a container. It's inside a closed system, all right? So whatever gas that is left in the container must be taken into account as these gases would also exert pressure which contributes to the final pressure. That is why we have to take into account of 1.5 mole of the leftover X mole and also the 3 moles of Z. All right. So from here, we would have the uh, complete information now. Uh, we have the volume, temperature, a uh, ideal gas constant or the molar gas constant, and we have the uh, number, um, number of mole here. So we just substitute the information into this equation. All right, and uh, we cut off the, uh, the same units here. And in the end, we will have a 1.47 times 10 to the power of 4 kilopascal. Now, change this kilopascal into pascal, okay, where we have 2 times with 1,000. In the end, we would have 1.47 times 10 to the power of 7 pascal, okay, which is the answer is C. All right, okay. So if you like what you see here, please give us a like and subscribe. Thank you.